a head and some nice Muslim boo-boo dress. I'll kill, I'll kill. Did you mean that? I'll kill you all. And I'm told that your words was used as justification by those who ought not to be on the floor of parliament, like the security invasion. So you're ahead. I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Did you mean that? And what did you mean by I'll kill you? And who were you targeting to kill? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the night of 7 January actually uh, was a black day in Ghana's democracy. Yes, of course, uh, Mr. Chairman, I use that word. Um, I regretted it. Um, as I stood before this platform, I want to uh, withdraw that word unconditionally. Uh, my constituents, of course, are watching me. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm a peaceful man. Um, uh, of course, uh, it, the, the use of the word came out of overreaction, which is, of course, one of my negative aspects, overreaction. Mr. Chairman, I'm trying to work on that. And when, I when you say overreaction, that. were you saying in a fit of anger? Yes, Mr. Chairman, in, a, in a, an anger mood, I use that uh, word. Who angered you? I was asking who angered you? Who angered you? Follow up to Chairman. Who well, Mr. Chairman, uh, I wish my entry to the hall uh, should have been played back. Uh, as a five first timer entry into this hall, uh, my good friends, colleagues uh, from the part of region that I came from together with other members, welcoming me in quite a, a bit hostile way. I thought, uh, as a new member, having won a very difficult seat, uh, as we chair up, only to be hooted at Juloye, uh, Fiafito, you know, and all those words. Uh, that actually was a trigger, but jokingly, they were, of course, joking. That was also a trigger of my anger by using that word. Mr. Chairman, I reiterated uh, to say that I unconditionally withdraw the words. <laughs>